another example of liberal incompetence, the mismanagement of the Pinocchio affair. Two senior ministers contradicted the Minister of Public Safety at committee, testifying that no police force had specifically requested the Emergency Measures Act. The President of the Privy Council and the Minister of Emergency Preparedness said that they are not aware of any recommendation from law enforcement. There seems to be division in the Liberal camp, Mr. Speaker. The Minister of Public Safety has lost the confidence of his own colleagues. When will the Prime Minister demand his resignation? One moment, please. I'd like to remind members that in the House, we try to ensure that there are intelligent speeches, but calling each other names, that's not something I like to see in this House. The Honorable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, the people who are really suffering division is the official opposition. They are having a lot of trouble agreeing on anything. Meanwhile, while governments are trying to help Canadians with their problems, what is the opposition doing? They're spending their time filibustering. The Conservatives love filibustering. They think of it from dawn till night. The Honourable Member for Central Okanagan, Similkami Nicola. Mr. Speaker, $3,100 in food and alcohol costs for a flight to Dubai may seem normal to these spendy P Liberals, but it's beyond the vast majority of Canadians who struggle every day to pay their bills, let alone imagine a flight. But that didn't stop the Finance Minister from lecturing to Canadians how good they have it from her podium in Toronto, where they charged $1,000 a table to, her, to hear her hurry up and wait approach to help. Uh, if I could just interrupt, I believe we have a a problem with interpretation? Okay. We'll have to start over, but we'll just get that straightened out first. Is the translation fixed? Est-ce que la traduction fonctionne? Elle fonctionne. The translation is working. From the top, please. The Honourable Member for Central Okanagan, Similkami Nicola. Mr. Speaker, $3,100 for in food and alcohol for a flight to Dubai may seem normal to these spendy P Liberals, but it's beyond the reach of a vast majority of Canadians who struggle every day to pay their bills, let alone imagine taking a flight. But that didn't stop the Finance Minister from lecturing to Canadians how good they have it from her podium in Toronto, where they charged $1,000 a table to hear her hurry up and wait approach to helping Canadians struggle with record high inflation. Does the minister not understand Canadians need help, not lectures today? And will she start listening to Conservative proposals to fight inflation? Hey. The Honourable... The Honourable Minister for Tourism. Mr. Speaker, unlike this side of the House, the opposition has no affordability plan. What they propose is that Canadians put their money into Bitcoin. Well, Mr. Speaker, there's a movie about that, and it's called Risky Business. Had you listened to the Conservatives, you'd have lost your shirt in the last year. $8.9 billion is what we are going to put into the pockets of Canadians this year. The Conservatives bluff, bluster, and blame. We double down and deliver, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Central Okanagan, Samantha Nicola. For a flight on catering on food costs is no joke to Canadians. Now, these Liberals won't listen to pragmatic suggestions to help fight inflation. They won't stop their inflationary deficit spending. They won't give Canadians a tax a break at the pumps. They think it hurts us, but instead, it, when they reject our ideas, it hurts Canadians. Yes. Now, hope springs eternal, Mr. Mr. Speaker, so I'll try again. Here's an idea. In 2017, Bill Morneau added an inflationary clause to every user fee charged by the Canadian government, from national parks to port fees. They go up automatically. Will the minister get serious on inflation and say no more to the more no user fee escalator? <laughs> the Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, this government has been working on affordability, making sure that Canadians can not just make ends meet, but prosper. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, we tax the 1% and put more money in the pockets of Canadians. The Canada Worker Benefit is going to benefit 3 million Canadians. A couple will make $2,500 more, and a single person, $1,200. $500 if you're struggling for housing. Mr. Speaker, the other side thinks it has a plan, but I know one thing from Alberta, Mr. Speaker. That side is all hat, no cattle. Oh. 